three Russian scientists involved in the development of hypersonic missiles have been accused of betraying secrets to China. A Reuters exclusive report says the director of a top Russian science institute is also among the accused. The source-based report says head of Siberia's Kristyanovich Institute of Theoretical and Applied Mechanics, Alexander Shiplyuk, is suspected of handling overclassified material at a scientific conference to China in 2017. The 56-year-old maintains his innocence and insists that the information in question wasn't classified and was freely available online. The ITAM director was arrested last August. Now, the nature of the allegations against him were not previously reported until Reuters published its report. The Chinese connection would make Shiplyuk the latest in a string of Russian scientists who have been arrested in recent years for allegedly betraying secrets to Beijing. Now, just last year, laser specialist Dmitry Kolker was arrested in Siberia on treason charges. But he died just two days later of cancer. His lawyer says Kolker was accused of passing secrets to China, an allegation that the scientist's family denies. In 2020, Alexander Lukanin was arrested on suspicion of passing tech secrets to Beijing. Last year, he was sentenced to seven and a half years in prison. Then let's talk about Valerie Mitko. Another scientist heading the Arctic Academy of Sciences in St. Petersburg was also accused in 2020 of passing secrets to China. He died two years later at the age of 81 while under house arrest. Now, Russian President Vladimir Putin has repeatedly said that Russia is a world leader in hypersonic missiles. He said Russia's cutting-edge weapons capable of carrying payloads at up to 10 times the speed of sound to punch through air defense systems. The ITAM cases, as well as previous arrests for treason, suggest that Moscow is vigilant about losing any technological edge, even if it's to its new ally, China. Beijing has so far been an ally of Russia, on which it has become increasingly reliant for political and trade support ever since the beginning of the war in Ukraine. 